What's going on everyone? Josh here at Florida Love of Games. I hope you had a fantastic week and having a great day so far. So today's video is going to be a little bit of a short one, only because I want to take a look at the newest AMD graphics card driver and see if they actually fixed any of the Oculus Link compatibility issues that have been going on since last December. I have done a video on this about a few months ago, back in January, and I gave you guys a couple of fixes and how to actually get it working again. I'll put those videos down in the description below. Now in case you haven't heard, Oculus Link compatibility with AMD GPUs for the past six months has been spotty to say the least and i found this issue while back in december of 2020 when i was building a pc for a buddy of mine with vr specifically in mind and the oculus quest one with link in mind as well when i went to go upgrade the drivers to the latest and greatest drivers from amd which was 20.12.1 oculus link support would not work at all it would detect it and then i would load it up and it wouldn't do anything at all it would just boot you off or it would just disconnect or say it wasn't connected at all so i knew there was an issue there but i couldn't figure out what it was and after a few hours of troubleshooting i found out that the amd driver was giving me the issue all along and i had a fix for that which was to roll back to 20.11.1 and it worked. So today I figured we would take a look at the release notes for the newest AMD graphics card driver which is 21.6.1 and see if they fixed any of the Oculus Link compatibility issues that have been plaguing AMD cards for the past six months. Let's go take a look at the release notes. So here we are over on the AMD website over at the 21.6.1 release notes page and as I was reading through the fixed issues I couldn't see anything that said Oculus Link compatibility has been restored has been fixed for AMD Radeon cards. What I did find though was this sentence right here. An Oculus service error may be received on Radeon RX 5000 and 6000 series graphics products which prevent the Oculus Link setup software from running. So it's been about six months later and AMD still hasn't fully fixed the compatibility with Oculus Link software with their Radeon graphics cards. I will give them credit and say they did fix it for the RX 500 and RX 400 series graphics cards but the RX 5000 and 6000 series you may be still out of luck and this is a really bad practice on AMD's part but I do have hope for AMD in the next month or two to actually have this all ironed out and it will eventually get better over time hopefully now I did take a look at the 21.6.2 optional uh, driver update and this still has the same issue of the 21.6.1 unfortunately uh, RDNA 1 and RDNA 2 cards still are giving you issues with Oculus Link software so I'm, I'm going to speculate here and I'm going to say that hopefully AMD fixes this as soon as possible now the way it's been going is it's a working update and not working update working update not working so I'm kind of seeing a little bit of a trend here when they fix one thing something else breaks so hopefully next month in uh, July we'll get an update and we'll have uh, full Oculus Link support with AMD Radeon graphics cards. But if any of you out there have an RX 5000 or an RX 6000 series GPU and you want to use Oculus Link with your Radeon GPU, there is a silver lining here. There is a good driver that you can use in order to get your Oculus Link working again. And that driver is 21.5.2. All you got to do is roll back to 21.5.2 and Oculus Link should be working flawlessly for you once again. If any of you need help or want a video guide on how to roll back an AMD graphics card driver, I'm going to leave a link to a video that I did a few months back down in the description below. The only difference is you have to change 20.11.1 to 21.5.2. Or if you guys just want a completely new guide on how to roll back 21.6.1 to 21.5.2, let me know down in the comment section below as well. I hope you guys found this video useful and helpful in some way. And if it was, a like in this video would be very much appreciated. That's about all I have in the Andy situation with Oculus Link right now. But moving forward, I'm going to actually be keeping tabs on this and keeping you guys informed. So subscribe and turn notifications so you don't miss any video that I upload in the future about this situation. But until next time, guys, I'm Joshua for the Love of Games, signing out. Have a great day.